40 Alarm Clock Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hello everybody! In today's video I'm going to be showing you an alarm clock nail art design where there's a little spring underneath the alarm clock so you can sort of flick it and then it rings or it looks like it's ringing and it wiggles back and forth which I think is hilarious. It's actually inspired by a purse that I have that looks like an alarm clock that I haven't gotten to use for a while because this one is kind of particular about my purses and I have to have a really big purse instead of a cute little purse at the moment. And I don't know why I even worry about purses right now because I don't leave the house. But anyways, I hope you guys like this design as much as I do. I just think it's so silly and funny and I will see you next time. Bye! So I'm going to begin with an overlay of black acrylic. I want the background to be super dark so there is a high contrast between that dark background and the neon quality of the alarm clock. And I think that in this case an alarm clock really should be neon because when your alarm goes off in the, mo in the morning it kind of has that neon abrasiveness <laughs> that the color does. So it has that same kind of slap you in the face effect. So then I'm going to encase the nail with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure it is nice and strong. And then I'm going to file the nail into shape with my e-file. And if you guys can tell, I'm not a morning person from my slap you in the face uh, comment about alarm clocks. So in that respect, I really hate alarm clocks, even though I like this design. But I'm, yeah, I'm definitely not a morning person. Melody thankfully lets me sleep though, so that's good. <laughs> then on a nail form backing, I'm going to sculpt all the pieces of the clock. So I'm going to start with a very neon pink for the frame. It's actually kind of like a coral, coral pink, but it definitely has that neon quality to it. So sculpt a circle for it in the beginning and then carve away the middle of it so you're left with a ring shape. Try to make it as perfect circle in the middle as you can. Use the tip of your brush to gently push the acrylic outwards and then clean up the edges of it. And you can keep working on it and perfect the shape until the acrylic has completely set. And once you're happy with the shape of it and it's as close to perfect as you're willing to deal with it, fill in the middle with white acrylic to create the clock face. And then after you have that done, we're going to take some silver acrylic and sculpt the rest of the pieces of the clock. So on a little separate space of your nail form backing, you're going to want to place down two circles of silver acrylic and let those set up for just a minute. And that's going to be for the bells. So after you, they've created their little circle, you're going to push them on one side to create a half circle. You can keep adjusting it. Same thing. You can keep playing around with the acrylic until it is set up completely. The one thing to keep in mind is with a metallic silver acrylic is you don't want to pat it out too much because it's going to kind of dull the metallic quality of it so you don't want to overdo it as you can see I did pat it a little bit but you just want to be cautious not to do it not do it too much where it completely just looks dull then and after you have that done then you're going to want to sculpt two little feet on the alarm clock so these are going to be the bottom of the clock so place those little feet down same thing let them set up for a minute before you start messing with them. So in the video, this video is sped up to about four times the speed. And so it's hard to tell exactly how long I let things set. My rule of thumb is that even part of the reason I don't feel so bad about speeding up my video because everybody's product system is going to have a different time slot or different, you know, time for when things happen. So I wish I could tell you set a 45 second timer and then go but it doesn't work that way. I mean, the products you're using, your monomer polymer ratio makes a difference. How warm the temperature is around you makes a difference. So just keep all of that in mind and just really know your product system. So now I'm going to bend a piece of wire into the shape of a staple, or if you guys really wanna be fancy with this, you can simply use a staple. So measure it up to your alarm clock to make sure that it sits right. But if you can find a staple that's the right size and shape, you can go ahead and use that. So the first time I bent my wire, it wasn't quite right, so I went ahead and I re-bent it. And you want it to sit around that little dial on the top of the clock. So I'm going to glue that down, just like so with a little bit of nail glue. Hold it in place until the nail glue grabs. After that happens, then we're going to take and make those, or glue those two little bell shapes to either side of the wire. So there's the first one. You wanna angle them so that the flat side of the bell lines up pretty well with the, um, the side of the clock. Just glue the other one on. I absolutely love making these little household items. I made a rotary phone a while back and I thought that was so cute too was one of my favorite videos for a very long time. But after you have all of those little pieces done, you're going to want to um, secure them all together with some clear acrylic on the back of it, just like so. Make sure that everything is really nice and secure and not going to fall apart. And then I'm going to place some nail glue once again on the back of my alarm clock and glue a little spring to the back of it. After that spring is glued in place, then you're going to take some clear acrylic and very carefully cover just the very 
last ring of the spring. So you don't want to cover too much of the spring where it's going to interfere with the movement of it, but you need to cover enough of the spring so that when it does move and wiggle, it doesn't just pop off. So you have to make sure it's strong enough without messing with it. And I'm going to glue my alarm clock to the nail and same thing, cover the bottom of it with clear acrylic. So this is the other side of the spring and still just the very last circle of wire. So then with black paint, I'm going to start doing my alarm clock or doing all the details on my alarm clock. I'm going to begin with an outline just between the white and the pink color. And after I have that outline done, I'm going to take and do a second outline. So leave a small gap and paint another outline. As you can see, I messed my outline up a little bit and I just took my finger and I wiped it off really quick. This is acrylic paint, so it's non-toxic. So that means I can place it on my skin and I can use my finger as an eraser as you saw me do. If you're using gel paint or gel polish or any kind of a gel product, do not do that. Wear a glove and if you do make a mistake, then you're going to want to remove it with something like a nail cleanser on a piece of towel. So just bear that in mind. The reason I could do that is because this is a non-toxic product. So I just want to make sure that that is clear because I wouldn't want somebody to accidentally cause a reaction and get themselves some contact dermatitis because they misunderstood something I was doing. So after you have that, you can go ahead and place your time down. And you can set it for the time you typically get up in the morning or pull a time out of thin air, which is basically what I did. And so then after you have... Um, your clock face done. I'm going to go through and with a bright green, I'm going to be adding some little like ringing, like the cartoon ringing motion, little kind of like thunderbolt looking lines in the background. Same thing, that neon green contrasts beautifully with that black background and just makes the whole thing really, really pop. This design is one of those that when you look at it, it's like you can almost hear it, which I love. I love that effect that it has, at least on me. I feel like it has that instant feeling associated with it. So I'm apply a layer of gel sealer over the background here and a little bit of gel sealer right over the clock face so that that looks shiny and glassy. And then apply some matte tap coat over the rest of the clock just to give a satiny finish to the little bells and whistles and everything. I love this design. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. This is one of my favorite designs I've made recently. I think just because it does really remind me of I don't know, my purse for one thing, which I love, but it just has such a great kind of retro feeling to it. So I hope you guys like it and take me in any recreations on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.